Over the last few weeks, I've reviewed a number of relatively cheap gaming headsets, like the Razer Kraken X, around about £50 headset that I didn't really personally love all that much, and also the Corsair HS35, which while I do generally prefer it, especially around about £40, I still don't really love. Enter the ASUS TUF H3, a headset that I do love, or at least mostly anyway. See, in this cheap gaming headset market, you generally have to compromise on at least one thing, whether it's sound or mic quality, comfort, or even build quality as well, and it's often that you'll find companies compromising on all of those things, or maybe just specializing on being good at one of them at this price point, but I'm happy to tell you that the Tough H3 only compromises on one aspect, the build quality. It really is this thing's Achilles heel. You've got plastic and metal construction, which would normally be a good sign, but the choice of plastics and the faux leather for the headband just aren't great. When I first touched it, I really didn't like the feel of it, and if I'm honest, it felt pretty anemic, especially the faux leather on the headband, which really just doesn't feel great. I really don't expect this thing to last you very long. With this much flex in the headband, I don't expect it to you know, survive a medium fall from your desk or that accidental, uh, I've just sat on my headphones thing that happens from time to time. So do bear that in mind. Even stuff like the mic mute switch on the back of the left ear cup really doesn't feel all that great either. So definitely something to keep in mind. Where it redeems itself is, well, everywhere else. Let's start off with audio quality. The sound quality from these is absolutely fantastic for the price. Now, don't get me wrong, they're nowhere near as good as, say, the Audio-Technica ATH G1WLs I reviewed recently, but for the money, these are, I would say, a good bit better than both the Corsair HS35 and the Razer Kraken X, with really pretty clear, pretty crisp audio, and actually pretty impressive, although not overdone bass as well. You also have really good mids and highs, and while the soundstage is incredibly nice, narrow as you'd expect with a set of closed back gaming headphones that actually lends itself as a favor when you're gaming because it's very easy to differentiate between the two ear cups and therefore you know work out exactly where those steps came from in game or the gunshots from across the map. It's also rather comfortable, which means that you really don't have any issues with long gaming sessions. I, at no point in my testing did I feel like the headset was in any way uncomfortable. It was pretty light on the head while still being relatively secure and overall, as I said, just pretty comfy. If you're worried about the mic quality, well, don't be. The microphone on the H3 actually isn't too bad. It's actually pretty clear. It still does have the usual hallmark of it being a headset microphone. It's still a little bit overly compressed, but generally speaking, for a headset microphone, this definitely isn't bad. And if you're wondering if it'll work on consoles, the short answer here is that yes, it should do. It's got a 3.5mm four-pole jack on the headset itself, and a four-pole to separated microphone and headphone jack kind of cable in the box, so it should really work with anything you want to plug it into. So if you can get over the pretty nasty feel of the headphones themselves, then you can pick yourself up a really impressive set of headphones headphones with a great sort of audio experience, good mic quality, and something that you could happily game for hours on, or just chill with some music too. They're going to be selling for around about £50 in around about October, as they're still in the process of launching them, so while I will leave a link to them in the description down below, it might not necessarily be live worldwide yet, so do bear that in mind. Now, would I put one of these on my desk? Well, the short answer here is that no for me personally, because I already have Audio-Technica ATH G1 WLs, which are much better, but if I was recommending them to someone who wants a cheap gaming headset, then I would actually recommend these over any of the other ones that I've tested so far. Of course, there is one caveat that the Corsair one is 10 to five pounds cheaper, and so if you can't afford these, then the Corsair ones are still a great option, but as a blanket statement for a cheap gaming headset, this is my current go-to. Now, with that said, those are my thoughts. I would love to hear yours in the comments down below. What do you think of the headset? Is it something you'd be interested in picking up yourself? And as a bit of an experiment, let me know in the poll in the cards up above if you'd be interested in uh, you know picking up this headset yourself, or if you've got something better, or you just straight up don't use headphones. Anything at all, do let me know up there and down in those comments. Of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more of these videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you want to check out the headset in terms of pricing and uh, availability, then do check out that link like I mentioned in the description down below. 
You can also check out the rest of the links in the description down below as well to support the channel. There's Amazon and Overclockers UK affiliate links which don't cost you anything to use but massively help me out when you do use them. There's also stuff like Patreon if you want to support me directly and get cool rewards for doing so or you can check out the merch for hoodies or t-shirts like this one. There's also a load of other stuff like private internet access which is a great and cheap VPN or Humble Bundle for cheap games to support charities too and there's plenty of other videos over there that you can check out and carry on watching including the reviews of the HS35 and the Razer Kraken X. Otherwise that is pretty much it. If you've got any questions leave those in the comments down below and we'll see you all in the next video.